So Horizon Zero Dawn is exciting to me for a few reasons. Uh, first, it's a brand new IP. This is from Guerrilla Games. It's a group that did uh, Killzone, which for its genre was actually pretty great. Uh, second, it appears to have a really intriguing female lead. Uh, she seems to be strong, clever, and incredibly determined to really figure out her past and what's happened to this world. Uh, and third, we're set about a thousand years into the future where these tribal customs and these ancient relics, uh, which are actually these giant uh, animal-like machines, uh, these two things really collide to make for this really interesting uh, dynamic. I will say, if you're new to the channel, I try to focus in on the story and the narrative as much as possible. I really just enjoy uh, immersing myself into the character and, and the world around us as much as possible. Uh, I do have a laptop going on the side where I take any notes about interesting characters or plot points. Uh, and for a game like this, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm pumped. Like, I'm really into this right now, and I want to dive right in. Uh, in case anybody's wondering, I am playing on the PS4 Pro, and I do want to also thank Sony for the review copy of Horizon Zero Dawn. I really appreciate that. Uh, one last thing before we get going. Uh, we are embarking on a new adventure here, so we know nothing about the world, and to me that's like the most exciting thing in video games. So, I would recommend that we set the vibe, and if you don't know what that is, it's lights off, headphones on, volume up, and just let ourselves get into it. Uh, we are going to start with the opening cutscene that takes place when you first launch the game, and then we're going to begin with the actual gameplay. So here we go. What's that now? Don't like the cold? Can't stay in today. We have a ritual to perform, you and I. Here. Wear this. It belonged to my daughter. Good. Today, I speak your name, girl. But will the goddess speak it back? Normally, it would be the mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend, and matriarchs perform the ritual. But we are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us, we're left the splendors of creation, beasts of air, Water, earth, and steel. It is one thing to hunt a beast, another to hunt a machine. You must be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this, one day. A 
No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you? But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. Go! Oh, mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! And so her name is blessed. Stop this at once! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough! And you... Blessing its name like it was one I of know the my duty to the them. Tribe. And to you. Without consultation. I'm here. And wherever you go, I will follow. Okay, six Aloy! years later. Aloy! I really just have a lot of questions coming out of that. Like, first of all, why were we entrusted to Ross in the first place? Um, Lanzra, I believe her name was, the High Matriarch, who came in, like, uh, secondary there. She called us a curse. Oh, that's a lot of berries. You're quite the gatherer, aren't you, little bast? Now go and see if you can find some more, hmm? So Nora, I believe, is a tribe that those high matriarchs belong to. Um, Lanzara, again, was saying something about that Tirsa, the one who did the naming, or who blessed well done, the naming, good boy. didn't consult with the tribe. Children, come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. Uh -oh. There. Oh, come on. There. Maybe the first outcast that they've seen? The kids? Now, it sounded like Ross was an outcast by choice, they said. So that's kind of interesting, and I, I'm guessing, if I had to guess, it would have something to do with his daughter. He he gave us, um, like a pendant that used to belong to his daughter, he said. I don't know if she, I would guess that she's not around anymore, but... I don't know, I got a lot of questions so far. Rost! Down here! Rost! Rost! He won't hear me. Some kind of cave? A gift from the past. Oh boy. Ew, rats. Jeez. Look how big they are. Oh! Hello. I wonder if that's our first experience running into other people. Like, we were just trying to do good, like Looks we saw... Looks tight, but I can get through. We saw the boy, uh, Bast there. He was giving berries to... I don't know if it's his mother or... 
just a mother in the tribe. Oh! I'm guessing we have to go through there. Does this just loop us back around? Yeah, it looks like it does. But regardless, to be told, like, this person's an outcast and we need to shun them, like, directly like that, and then to hear it, that's probably pretty tough. Okay. This must be a what ruin of the metal world. One of the old places. The metal world and the old places. I want to say, like, you know, some of this machinery looks futuristic, but it's actually, it's from the past, right? So what is this, some type of, like, rail? Like an entrance of some kind? Jeez, look at this. It's all overgrown. I don't know if this is, like... Ice or or rock. Okay, it looks like some kind of uh, some type of entrance or exit that brings people in on like a rail, like a transport of some kind. But. never go in places like this. But I have to find a way out. Probably for good reason. <laughs> this is wild. No idea what these things would be for. We do have chairs, like some type of... Like a waiting room of sorts. We've got a desk over here. Although we wouldn't know what this is. Oh, what's that? We actually have, like, plant growth happening down here. Get it, there's bats down here. This feels safe. There is something up ahead. clue what these machines would have been. I'm not sure what this place is exactly. What's that? A dead person. Okay. I guess where there's light there will be growth, so kind of ironic in this scenario. There's something shiny there. Strange device.
lights. Everywhere. How does it do this? Toggle the focus by pressing R3. So you can see all of the old places where computer screens would have been um, are illuminated. I don't know if we can interact with them or anything. Not quite. Whoa. This is some device from the old world, but is it common? Like, did everybody have this, or...? A metal door. Closed. Maybe this device I found can help. Okay, power status off. It's a bunker. Okay, so this is a bunker. Blast door. Heavily shielded. Seal integrity maintained. Use the device to scan the room. More lights. Power cable. Okay, so we can use this to, like, get a readout on different things. Bizarre. A shape. It's connected to the door somehow. Secure encryption port with holographic display. Data shows required settings for nearby hollow locks. And this is a hollow lock. Electromagnetic security mechanism with holo standard holographic UI interface unavailable. Is that what it said? Unavailable. We can tag it. I don't think we need to. So this is these are the shapes we saw. Data shows required settings for nearby hollow locks. So I'm guessing the red thing needs to be in that orientation to unlock it. Does that say Faro? Maybe some type of system name or something? I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. Yeah, Faro here as well. It's like the electronics. Turn hollow lock counterclockwise or clockwise. We need the red at the bottom, so. There we go. You changed color. I'm guessing not too many people have this device, obviously. Are we the only ones? I don't know. But certainly Rost is gonna be like, uh... The door changed color too. 65, 25? Why is that number changing? It's probably just glitching. I did it. Yeah, see, these are all changing as well. What do we have here? For Director Evans, a voice log. Data corruption severe. Data point one of 63. Director Evans, flash traffic from USRC. Black Quartz Encryption. I've rooted the message to your hollow grid for viewing. Huh, okay. Some type of message coming in for... Was it Director Evans? Hostile Machine, a Strider. Oh, what's this? Blaze Canister with weaknesses. Oh, cool. Well, I mean, let's target. Or tag it. Now, the things that we can interact with, like that data point, it seemed to have been marked for us, so... 
see here's another one and we can see it on our little uh, radar up the top something pops up that we can then follow What's in the that? area it's got a dip I think I want it this way it's the best I can do he's right behind you hi <laughs> happy birthday Isaac daddy sure does love his little big man look Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Show me. Show me again. I can do. He's right behind you. Hi! Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. <laughs> Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Cool. Daddy sure does love his little big man. So these are like recordings of some kind. I don't know if they're intentional recordings or like remnants type of thing. Data corruption partial. It seems like he he was saying it's the best I can do. Obviously having a chat with it seems like his mother before he walked into the room and then. Obviously, it changed tone pretty quickly. What? It, like, look at how this bunker is huge. Like, what was this for, though, is the question. I'm seriously, I'm seriously intrigued. Yeah, we've got action here. Connor Chason, recorded January 1st, 2066. 2066, okay. Can we play it? Well, Happy New Year, dear diary. Can you believe we actually celebrated last night? Well, we did. Kind of. Director Evans invited everyone to gather in the community room. Don't know where she got the party hats. That was a ghoulish touch. So they always sit watching the clock tick down to midnight, and I'm thinking, am I the only one who gets the symbolism of this? It might have been worth it if Skylar had gotten drunk again, but <laughs> I seem to be a mistake she doesn't want to repeat. Skylar was the voice that we first heard who was relaying the message to Director Evans. Okay, so hold on a second. This is January 1st. He's talking about celebrating New Year's, which is like, and then he's saying this is ironic. Um... And this was January 1st, 2066. But we're like a thousand years ahead of like roughly current times, are we not? But this is when... I don't know what's going on there. Can we replay it? Well, oh, cool. Happy New Year, dear diary. Can you believe we actually celebrated last night? Well, we did. Kind of. Director Evans invited everyone to gather in the community room. I don't know where she got the party hats. That was a ghoulish touch. Whoa. So they always sit watching the clock tick down to midnight, and I'm thinking, am I the only one who gets the symbolism of this? It might have been worth it if Skylar had gotten drunk again, but I seem to be a mistake she doesn't want to repeat. <laughs> not sure exactly what's happening here, but... Symbolism having to do with New Year's celebration, so... I'm guessing this is around, like, the end of their current civilization then full stop voice log data corruption severe i saw them lining up in the community room like cattle in a slaughterhouse but smiling at each other shauna handing out meds like being alive is some kind of pain to be eased well not me i don't want to go quiet i don't want to trail off hmm I want a period at the end of my life sentence, not an ellipsis. Hell, <laughs> an exclamation mark. So if that upsets whoever finds this, too bad. I don't know anyone, anything, anymore. Whoa. Wait, what? Okay, so he's talking about the community room again. 
And somebody handing out meds. Chana was handing out meds. Which means... But he didn't want to take the meds. He wanted to, to have a, a period or an exclamation point at the end of his life. Which means... Are, is this like a mass suicide kind of thing? What is happening down here exactly? Like, 2066 is early by current time definitions, as far as I understand it. Okay, we have a whole bunch of little points around here, it looks like. And these are all just, like, all these bodies still here. Connor chasing again. I mean, seriously. Record our thoughts for posterity. Great idea, Director Evans. Like, I haven't done enough for posterity already. Like, I wouldn't be here like this if not for posterity. I'm done with posterity. Posterity can go. <laughs> posterity is about, like, um, passing things down to future generations, kind of. So it sounds like it was recommended that they record their thoughts for posterity to share, kind of what's going through their heads, but... Why did they die here? He's saying... What happened to them? He's saying he's done enough. So maybe they were working on something to try and... avoid whatever ended up happening here. Obviously, did not work that well, considering what we're seeing. Jackson Fry. Now pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. I mean, death. I'm sorry. It's been a while. And oh, these meds Johnny gave us are really something. <laughs> so, uh, okay, from the top, kids. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace. Wow. Yeah, these people are all, like, preparing for the end. Whatever that may be exactly, I'm not sure. Skyler. And Machu Picchu. Always wanted to see that. Never did. Why didn't I go with Owen when he asked? Stupid. <laughs> well. Yeah, these are all things people do before they know they're about to die. Like we've heard prayers, um, Basically reminiscing, they're recording their thoughts for posterity. Mia Saeed. That's, um, Amazing Grace, I think. Like, the end of it. Look at the positions they're in when they die, too. Like, it was- looks painful. Ella Ponce. Or Pontes. And maybe that's all I need, you know? That moment the door open and you were standing there, wearing that retro wave dress. What had just blossomed inside me, you know? <laughs> it was just an instant, but I knew. I knew we'd be forever. More reminiscing about falling in love with somebody. Seems like they fell in love here, in this location. Oh, 
found us. That's a good sign. Found me. Frost found me. Down here. I'm coming. I'm coming. Nice. Looks like we can climb out of here. Okay, oh, if we can find more places like this. Come, girl. Take my hand. I'm intrigued. You don't belong down there. Come. <sighs> Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. <laughs> Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. No. Aloy. Such things are dangerous. No! Well, if you're gonna go sneaking away from home, you'll need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. But starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt. He seems like an amazing father figure type. Obviously, he's not our biological father, but for all intents and purposes, he's raised us on his own. So, can't imagine this relationship any different from a typical father daughter. What do they mean? Take your bow. Oh, cool. Bow? And enough muttering to that plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. That's got to freak him out, too, though. Think about it. He's not seeing any of that. And she's, like, moving these shapes around with her hands, like... The wilds can scary. be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now, you're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch. I'll show you how to fill it. See this plant over here? It's called South Jeez. Rush. Come, gather its berries in your pouch. Fifteen percent health added to the medicine pouch. Now eat the berries. Press up to transfer health from your medicine pouch to your health pool. So you can see top left, I guess, is our health. Blech. The second bar. They may taste bitter. Guessing but they can save your life. the health pool. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Where are we? This valley is just a part of all mother's embrace. Should I be taking like everything we can find? I imagine. Ridgewood. We'll stick and with him and see what right. he says. The Nora tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines. Usually. Usually. This is gorgeous out here. Further down river, <laughs> we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. Are they dangerous? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. I always wonder about, like, extreme statements like that, where all machines are dangerous. If that's, like, you know, yes, that's what we've been taught from a young age, but maybe that's not the case. Mm. Aloy. A machine's coming. Crouch and follow me into the tall grass. Where is it? There. Now stay low. Little one. No, Aloy. Such machines are called watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. Oh, oh, oh. If you are to survive Look at that. in the wilds, I will show you. Listen close and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. That is so cool. Now 
keep low and follow me across the trail to oh, we got more grass. oh another one let it pass oh that is cool and identifies them as watchers we can tag it. The slower you move, the quieter you'll be. And crouched walking is quieter than upright. Wait for it. So we can tag it. Highlight track. Huh. That's the last of them. Let's move on. Obviously, he doesn't know that we're doing that, but... You did well. Look at I didn't this see place. I hear you. Now Stealth, symbol, or dash shows, shows how visible ahead. you are. Look at this. <laughs> I'm like, I'm in. I'm right in right now. Oh. Who's that? Ignore him. But why is he up there? Is he in a tribe or? He's smiling at us. <laughs> Tab, get back where you belong. Tab. Tab, where are you? Ignore him. We are outcasts and he is of the tribe. Okay. Maybe he doesn't like to try. Then he is a fool. Huh. Come now. Let's find that herd. Follow. So it sounds like Ross would rather be in a tribe, but at the beginning, um, one of the high matriarchs was saying that he was an outcast by choice. Maybe not his choice, I guess. Could be their choice. And that we were, like, some type of curse. And then the other one was asking, like, Asking Ross, what did, what did, I believe her name was Tirsa. What did, like, Tirsa tell you about its birth? She kept calling me it. He said nothing. So, maybe he knows, maybe there. he doesn't know. See them? These are called striders. Oh, cool. Ha! Get! Why'd you chase them off? Huh. huh. To show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. So can we do that same thing? We can scare off herds of these things? Oh, rocks. Cool. <laughs> Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I will show you how to use them. Good. That's it. We need three rocks? Those will do. Follow. Take as many rocks as we need. Now, from a distance, it doesn't look like we can tell the difference. Medicinal wild ember. We can run. Let's go catch him. Can't really tell the difference between rocks and plants until we get up close and see the physical thing. Like you can't tell from the indicator. Stop wasting time. Okay, jeez. Aloy, over here. Look at this. Aloy, come down. There's the herd. All right. It's time to throw some rocks. But rocks can't hurt machines, right? No, but they can distract them. Draw them into traps. Like that watcher over there. It must be dealt with, or it will warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn them? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy. 
unless they are first silenced. <laughs> now you stay here on I the like ridge. the way you think. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. Okay, so he's down there. Hold down to aim the distraction rock. Aim the rock's arc at your destination. Release to throw the rock. Aloy, throw a rock near me. L2 to cancel it. Oh! Hello. I should probably there. stay down. Come, girl, it's safe now. There's a few of them up there. Are we going to take them all like that? Loot the watch. Harvest the kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. Near dead machine hold triangle to harvest it. We've got metal shards and wire. We can take all or just take harvest individual the kill, things. Aloy. Pay attention. Good. I see you've already gathered stocks of Ridgewood. I have. Use the stocks as arrow shafts and metal shards for arrowheads. L1 to open the weapon wheel. Select the arrow with right stick and press and hold X to quick craft hunter arrows. Okay. Good. You'll never run out of arrows if you know how to craft what you need. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. You never have enough rocks. So this seems to be like the standard tall grass that we should keep an eye out Here. for. Stay low in the grass, and be quiet. It's time to make your first kill, Aloy. Oh. Strider, one of the weaker machines. Doesn't look very weak. weak. machine can kill a hunter if she's careless. You must study your brain. Its hide is thick, but there are spots where it is vulnerable. Like its eye. Can you guess another? Press R3 to scan the strider. Hover it over the enemy to scan it. It's a canister on its back. Is that a Oh, weakness? cool, okay. Shins, how did you guess that? The device. It showed me. But that plaything? Stop playing games. Now, take down that strider. Huh. Target the eye or the canister. And if it charges, be ready to roll out of the way. L2 to aim your bow. Hold R2 while aiming to draw the bow. At full draw, your bow is a lot more accurate. Let's shoot the canister. Hit! Keep firing! Whoa! Now the others... Okay, they... They scattered. There's a blaze. Metal shards and sparker. You did well today, but you have much to learn. Tomorrow, we train again. What was that? That boy. The one running the brave trails. Follow Eloy, quick. Okay, I'm with you. That's cool that we can kind of scan them for weak points. Um, we have an advantage with that device, it seems, because we were able to pick up immediately that the canister was a weakness, but he was like, we would have no idea if we didn't have the device. So this, what is this glowing stuff? Is this indicating like this is where we would hide. This seems to only appear over the tall grass. Uh -oh. Look at these things. It's only a matter of time before.
before the machines find that boy and kick him to death. But if I shoot, it will cause a stampede and they will trample him. Oh. But I can see the paths they take. Stop telling stories. I'm not. I can sneak through. You will not. I'm becoming pretty rebellious. Uh. Hey, Lloyd. <laughs> okay. He's got our bow. So we are literally on our own. R3 to enter focus mode. When the watcher scan, press R1 to tag its patrol path. Need to do this slowly and quietly. Oh, they're on predetermined paths. I guess they are machines, but the parentheses around the eye show how much sound you're making. Then he's gonna walk all the way over there. Okay, that's cool. Can't let them see. Whoa. Okay, so we see his track. These ones, no track if they're not moving, okay. Jeez, we gotta be careful here. We could maybe throw rocks to distract him. I'm going. Got another patrol up in front. He's going back and forth. I need to see their paths. Come on. Almost there. Don't move. <laughs> Look at this. There he is. Hey. This is awesome. What? Get in here. How do you know to avoid them? Okay, so he's gonna come cruising all the way around here. Once he does this path and starts to cross in front of us, then we can jump ahead to the next one. What if we scan human Teb? Okay. So it can identify people. Let's go, let's go, let's go. How is this possible? Just stay down. Yeah. 
There's Rost. Let's go. <laughs> What's he going to say about this one? Followed Rost's teachings. So, it is no plaything. He's starting to believe. Okay, this is good. Wait. Oh, Mother, bless that girl. Bless you both. She, Boy! She saved me. I, I just wanted... Boy! Seal your lips! They are outcasts, both. Brave veteran. And she is motherless. Come now. Back to Mother's heart. So even worse than being an outcast. <laughs> being motherless sounds like it's like the lowest that of the boy low. boy should not have spoken to us. It's against tribal law. We'll go home now. Follow. I wonder what happens to him. I know the that. way. Mother. Oh, that's um, Bast or something. Bist, Bast. I think it was Bast. The kid that we saw when we were handing over berries. Flashpoints offer moments of emotional choice. How Ali expresses her personality is up to you. Choose a fist, and she'll confront the challenge directly. Choose brain, and use insight to find a clever, less obvious approach. Choose heart. She'll express compassion or give voice to her deepest convictions. Let's use our... Let's use the brain here. Knock the rock from his hands. Oh. <laughs> hey! Children! Away from there! Back to picking berries! <sighs> You're bleeding. Let me have a look. Here. Hold still. I'll get it. Why? Shh. Why am I an outcast? Aloy, this is not the time. Who was my mother? Aloy, I've told you before, that's not for us to know. You were just a newborn when the matriarchs brought you to me. So the matriarchs, they know? Well, they must. <sighs> it's not so simple. But they know. Aloy. We are outcasts. So how do I make them tell me? The matriarchs? There is a way, perhaps. So tell me. It would be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me. The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves. But to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes, whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> whatever it takes. Instantly motivated. I'll win the proving. I see. We'd best get started then. Your training will be hard. And it will take years. Start training? Yes. Follow. <laughs> I mean, that's all the motivation we need, right? Where did we come from? Who's our mother? How did we end up here? And personally, like what ha like what happened to the old world? Why are we in this scenario that we're in? That's cool. So this was called the proving that we're training for. And it sounds like multiple people can pass, can pass the proving and you become, I think he said a veteran. Um, but if you win, you get the boom. Whoa.
That pumps me up. That's amazing. Oh, whoa. You know what that face was? That's him realizing that he doesn't need to take care of us anymore. 